Hey guys, Gwinnett here, bringing you one of my rounds from MPDC 2307. Um, this is when I, this is round three, and I am playing against uh, Fabio S, and he is playing the Demir Mill deck, and I am playing the, uh, my Turtle Power Is It deck. Um, looks like once again I am on top, which means I'm going to have to move my deck around, I have a feeling. Looks like uh, my opponent, I'd say I won the dice roll, and I chose to play first. And once again, even though this is going to be down here, this is a new moto bug I've discovered. Sometimes on your replays, it puts your cards in the wrong place. Very obnoxious. So let me resize this a little bit. All right, so even though this is down here, this is my hand, but this is on my opponent's battlefield, and this is, I'm up here. All right. So obviously this is a keeper. It's a little little light only having two lands, but I have both my colors, and um, that's the important thing. Obviously a little risky since I can't cast anything in my hand without a land drop, but I do decide to go ahead and keep it, knowing I'm playing against Demir Mill. Um, still don't draw into the second land, which is unfortunate. Hopefully here I will hit a land. I don't, um, but I go ahead and play out the Razor Tip Whip, because that's just going to be really good against him. On my opponent's turn, he plays a Pilfered Plans, and then has to immediately discard, just discards an island. Um, I unfortunately do not draw a land, so I'm falling way behind in the land department here. Um, but I will go ahead and ping my opponent for one. I'm going to hold on to this shock for the moment uh, to go ahead and draw the third land, which is really nice. Obviously, you don't want to play out these Skull Cleavers into his untapped mana if I don't have to, especially since I can just continue to ping him for one and not have too much to worry about. Go ahead and shock him since otherwise I'd have to discard and just continue for the moment to ping him for one. Draw an Annihilating Fire, um, which is um, not bad, but again, a land would be better, but I go ahead and just hit him for three again, so I don't have to discard. And then on his turn, I can go ahead and use the Razor Tip Whip. All right, so he plays the Arcane Answer, returns the Pilfered Plans to hand, and then I hit him for one. Back on my turn, finally draw into a fourth land, which is gonna be helpful for me. Opponent's going to attack with an Archaeomancer. And is going to play another Pilfered Plans. Um, I'm going to go ahead and here ping him for one and then see if I can get this Annihilating Fire off as well, um, which he doesn't counter. He then has to discard an island. I play an island and pass the turn back. Continue to swing in with his Archaeomancer, but don't really have much to worry about there. Ping him for one more with the Razor Tip Whip, uh, drawn to an island. And at this point, in, pr in pretty good control of the game, um, don't have any creatures in my graveyard, so I don't have anything to worry about as far as Crypt Incursion, and can pretty much just ride this uh, to a conclusion. Um, he does have our Cam Answer here, but it just gives him back Pilfered Plans, which I'm really not worried about, forces him to discard. And I draw fourth Cancel, so yeah, at this point, it's going to be really hard for him to do much of anything. He drops me to 15 and cast another Pilfered Plans, but I'm just going to continue to ping him away here. Now I don't have anything to worry about as far as him attacking. He drops me to 13, ping him for 1, and go ahead and hit him with Annihilating Fire. He does have the counter here to go ahead and keep that from hitting me. Let's see what I'm able to do on my turn. Just draw a land. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't hit with these Skull Cleavers, but now he has um, the ability to start countering them. I decided not to counterspell there simply because, you know, I'd rather save it for when I really need it. Um, but this could be close if he's got a couple more spells. So I do find a land, which is helpful. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm not sure why I decided to wait there. Oh, I guess my plan is just a Wazer Tip Rip, because I don't want to get any more creatures in here unless he's able to cast a Crypt Incursion. So hit him for one. Find a Cyclops, but again, I'm just going to hold on to it and see if I can't ping him down. But now he's got me down to seven, and I'm definitely going to have to be pretty careful here. Drop him to one, he has to discard, ping him here, and he has a Farika's Cure, which I'm going to go ahead and cancel, see if I can keep that from happening. Um, he has a Psychic Strike, but I'll go ahead and cancel that as well. And he unfortunately has a Cancel of his own. So the Farika's Cure does happen, bringing him back up to three. Um, see what he's able to do now on his turn, another Pilfered Plans. Hits me down to six, and we are definitely going to be close here. Play the mountain and wait. Go ahead and drop me down to five, and this is definitely going to be very close. Ping him down to one. Ping him again. 
he has a devour flesh, which I'm going to go ahead and cancel. And he has another devour flesh, which I'm also going to go ahead and cancel. And he has yet another psychic strike. So he gets to discard that, bringing him to three. Now in my turn, I'm going to go ahead and cast the Minotaur Skull Cleaver, but he has a counter for that. He's definitely getting great value out of his counters. So um, go ahead and ping him here for one. Um, could go ahead and cast the Nivic Cyclops, but instead I cast Inspiration, just hoping to, to draw into some burn. Doesn't look like my opponent has any more anything else to do here, and I ping him for one. So it was definitely very close. Wasn't sure I was going to win that, but I did manage to come through in this game one. Um, I'll be back in a minute for game two.